you are looking at the PXN V99 Force Feedback Racing Wheel. At first glance, it looks similar to a Thrustmaster T300 wheel, but is it actually? We all know that the Thrustmaster T300 RS is extremely popular wheel among gamers, but what if I told you that you can get basically the same wheel or even better wheel for half a price? Yes, you heard it right, PXN V99 is the most slapped on wheel I have ever seen. And I'm not saying all of this just because PXN sent me this wheel, but because I have already used both of the wheels and I'm just giving you my honest opinion. And if you don't believe me, we can start off with just some plain wheel specifications and comparison. V99 has a dual motor design, while the T300 has a dual belt design. Both have a 16-bit resolution, V99 can produce up to 3.2 Nm of torque, while the T300 can produce 4 Nm of torque. Both wheels are detachable. PXN V99 is a 30 cm professional wheel with formula style pedro shifters, similar to the 28 cm Thrustmaster T300 wheel. Both come with the Hall magnetic pedals with adjustable pedal angles. PXN V99 comes together with the H pattern shifter, while the Thrustmaster doesn't include the shifter. And the most importantly, PXN V99 costs 230 bucks and Thrustmaster T300 RS costs 430 bucks. But all of this is just a dry steam spec sheet that we all know it's not a valid source how the wheel will behave in a video game. So to test out the wheel I decided to hop on some Forza Horizon 5 which is one of the supported games by the PXN. Because I really love drifting I immediately tried doing some slides and I was super happy how the wheel was acting once you start sliding. One thing I absolutely love about the wheel is that it's a round shape steering wheel and it doesn't have the flat bottom as for example with the Logitech G920. That was a super useful while drifting, I don't like the flat bottom wheels for drifting but that's just my personal preference. And on the other hand I would prefer to have a flat bottom steering wheel for doing races but hey you can't have everything right? I also tried out some off-roading or railing or whatever you want to call it with of course cars built especially for this kind of races and I have to say that it also works amazingly well for that kind of stuff as well. I also prefer bigger size wheels such as this one because it's a 30 cm in diameter so we have a feeling like you're driving a real car. If we talk about force feedback, the wheel has a plenty of force feedback so you can rely on the wheel forces because they are provided accurately throughout the entire operating range. But now some of you might say, yeah, but Thrustmaster has more torque than the PXN. Well, yeah, if you never played on a steering wheel before, you would have thought that the wheel force is everything you need to look for in a wheel. But that's far from true. And keep in mind that just a peak torque number it's more important that your wheel is providing enough force throughout whole range and the PXN definitely does. But generally speaking, as I already said in the beginning, if someone would blindfold me and set me down to drive with this wheel, I would honestly think that I'm playing with a Thrustmaster T300 RS. Well, blindfolded I wouldn't really be able to drive, but you get what I'm trying to say. If we take a look how the wheel is built, we can see that the wheel has some kind of a rubber coating over it so it's not slippery at all and still slippery enough to let it glide through our hands when letting it off to catch the drift. Other than that, the wheel is made from a quality metal, so even when unboxing it, it feels quite heavy, so you can tell that it's made from a quality materials. Wheelbase is also amazing because you can play around with the incline and consequently change the incline of the wheel. Also, the wheel clamps are nice because they don't take away any of your legroom unlike other steering wheels. Now, another important thing when it comes to drifting or just racing and driving with any kind of steering wheel are the pedals. No matter how good steering wheel you have, if you don't have good enough pedals, you will never be able to squeeze out the full potential of your wheel. And at first I thought that the PXM pedals definitely can be good if you get a whole sim set for just 230 bucks, but oh boy I was wrong. The V99 pedals not only look amazing, but also work amazing. 
the stiffness of the pedals lands right into the sweet spot, not too stiff and not too soft, so we will always have a good feeling of how much gas or brake you are applying. Also, they are extremely precise, so they will detect even slightest movement, which you sometimes don't want to, but you can always change that later on in the game settings with adding some dead zone. And as I already mentioned, you can also change the pedal angle, but I left them as they were because I didn't feel a need to change them. Oh, and also out of the box, the pedals come with a linear braking force, and if you don't like that, you can change the pedal's curve in a PXN wheel app that you can download on your phone and connect it with your wheel, and you can mess around with a bunch of different settings like turning the range, damp force, game spring, changing the binding of the buttons and so on. At PXN a huge selling point over other wheels is also a gear shifter that you get together with wheel and pedals. And again, who would have thought that for 230 bucks you get a good wheel, good pedals and also a good shifter. I can only compare the shifter with Logitech shifter because I haven't used others and when I realized that I spent 70 bucks for a Logitech shifter while here you're basically getting it for free, I started to appreciate the shifter even more. And it honestly feels even better than the Logitech one. But the true test of shifters is their longevity, because let's be honest, we are not gentle to our shifters. Ok, that maybe came out wrong, but you know what I meant. So yeah, a true indicator of how good the shifter is would be after 6 months of usage, if it would work in the same way as it was when it was new, no problems with entering gears and no grinding noises, then it's an 8 tier shifter. But so far from what I could experience, the shifter is working as it should and also the feeling of shifting is pretty neat. And also a cool little thing to keep in mind if you have a PXN shifter, they are also selling a sequential gear modification kit to change your H pattern shifter into a sequential one, which is pretty cool in my opinion. A small unique feature of PXN wheels is also their 4 pedal shifter design. The R1 and L1 act as a normal pedal shifter, while the R2 and L2 have a linear function similar to PlayStation controllers. Although this is a cool feature, I never really used it and would be happy with just the normal pedal shifters and if they weren't so loud when shifting it would be even better, but that's really a small detail and maybe just my preference. And yeah, other than that I really don't have anything bad to say about this wheel. Especially the price and what you get for the price is mind blowing to me. And I don't get it why there isn't more people buying them and especially having some competition among steering wheels is always a great thing for us gamers. PXN V99 also works on old platforms like PC, PS5, PS4, Xbox One and Xbox Series X and it supports the most popular driving games out there. I will drop the link to the wheel down in the description so you can go check it out and decide if this wheel is the one you're looking for. And with all that said, I will end the video here. If you enjoyed it, please drop a like button and subscribe if you haven't yet so you won't miss on the future videos. And as always, have a great day and I will see you in the next one.